Hello dear students, are you appearing for NEET MDS exam really soon in like 2 to 3 months? Then this video is for you. I am going to tell you everything that you need to know about the NEET MDS exam, the revision preparation strategy and some important tips and tricks to time management and negative marking. Hi, my name is Dr. Amir Godil and I am from Team Meritors and in this video we will start talking first about the exam pattern for NEET MDS. Now NEET MDS is a 240 question based exam which has negative marking. That means you get plus 4 for every correct answer and minus 1 for every incorrect answer. Now the basic question that people ask is how many questions should I attempt to get a good score? And in my opinion it should be at least 200 to 220 questions because that will increase the chances of you getting a good seat. Anything less than that will not really give you a very promising result. So, I don't really recommend you guessing here and there, but it's it's really encouraged that you attempt more questions and you know, I will tell you more about the negative marking that comes with that. Point number two is the revision strategy. So, at this point of time, you should start referring to all the previous year high yield questions. Now, on the app, you will find something called as Marathon. Marathon is a set of high yield questions like 3000 or plus questions per subject which you must practice towards the end of your preparation because these keep recurring in the exam from time to time. So when we are closer to the exam date, like two to three months away, we will start the marathon process on the app and you can start taking these tests and these questions on the app. These questions are also accompanied by nice lengthy explanations that you may want to read with key concepts and there are explanatory videos that give you a parallel understanding of the topic. So over the years we have seen that the questions that keep recurring in the exam are not straightforward the same. So if you have some question you will find a similar kind of a concept in the next recurring exam. So the explanatory videos will give you a very good idea as to what can be expected and that will increase the strike rate in the exam. Once you come towards closer towards the exam, towards the last few weeks, uh, maybe say two weeks before the exam, there is something called as final strokes. Now these final strokes are available on the app just before the exam because these are very volatile factual information that may be easily missed out. We encourage you to go through these uh, factual uh, numerical data so that you can keep it fresh just a few days before the exam. Now what should be your strategy at this point of time? Consider that you have only two months left till your final exam, till your NEET MDS exam and you have 60 days in hand and you have around 20 subjects to prepare. So my idea would be to have nearly two to three subjects a week for revision. Now mind you, revision is not first reading. You do not have to spend so much time on each subject that you may have spent earlier. You should have bookmarked, you should have all your factual questions ready, you should have all your notes ready by now and you just have to revise them repeatedly. Any difficult questions, any important concepts, these are the things that you will focus on right now. So stick to two to three subjects a week. I would prefer taking one basic science subject, one clinical subject and one subject that I really, you know, may not be feeling very good about. Or you can do one easy subject, one difficult subject or one lengthy subject, one short subject, or you can do a mix and match of something that is best suited to your needs because everyone has their own way of working out with their subjects and it is essential that you pick these subjects wisely because the revision should not burden you. You should like spend eight to 10 hours a day revising things and not reading new things. So just two months before the exam, make sure that you have completed all your fresh subjects. And if you've missed out on any subject for any reason, you should still focus on what you have prepared. Don't start new subjects two months before the exam. Start revising sooner so that you can really use all the information that you've put your effort in because whatever you've studied so far has to be brushed up before the exam. Now during this preparatory phase, it is also important for you to take national mocks. There is a whole video on national mocks and you can find the link below. But I will quickly tell you as to how that can help you in your exam preparation. National mocks will give you an understanding of where you stand nationwide and also on your preparation strategy. That means it will give you a better insight as to what are your strengths and weaknesses and what kind of questions need to be prepared in depth, especially for you. Also, you will get a better understanding of the time management and it gives you an idea of the feel of the exam. 
that will give you a boost and a confidence at the time of your exam. So find national mocks on the app, appear for national mocks every weekend and analyze your result and implement those changes in your revision strategy. Then comes the question of negative marking. How do you manage negative marking and how do you minimize it? So it is, it is not the fact that if you do not attempt, the risk of negative marking goes away. Like not attempting is not the solution. Imagine if you answer one question correctly, you get plus four. And if you answer four questions incorrectly, that is nullified. So for every one correct question, you can take at least four guesses, but they have to be smart guesses. Now, how to smart guess? First of all, you should start with eliminating the obvious options. So of the four possible options, one is correct and one will definitely be incorrect. So you eliminate the incorrect option. And once you are left with two to three possible options, you read the question again, see if there is an image attached and try to do a smart guess based on the information that you have. For every possible guess, so if suppose if you have a, a plus four for a correct answer and if you have minus four for four incorrect answers but if you change that to plus two if you have made one good guess you get plus eight and minus three so you get five points for getting it correct so if you do the math correctly you will have a very major advantage in smart guessing one more thing i would like to tell you is trust your instincts do not overthink when you read a question do not over analyze a question if you think that your gut feeling tells you to go for it most of the time it will be correct because you have practiced it so many times that you will have an idea of what the answer could possibly be it's always the same story in a different book cover so just just look at the question see what feels right and i think you should go ahead with your gut feeling and then lastly, coming to the preparation strategy towards the last few days of your exam, which are usually very stressful. People are, you know, sleep deprived and overly engrossed with their books. But I would advise that you get proper sleep and kind of take it easy over the last few days. Make sure that you have a lot of bookmarked material towards the end. So even during your revision uh, phase, make sure that you are highlighting things you are uh, you know segregating things for the last few days of revision the last one week is very crucial and you should focus more on factual theoretical kind of topics which are volatile because you've already practiced enough of conceptual uh, topics and don't forget to have good sleep and good food and just relax and go easy make sure that you check out the other videos on what to be done on the day of exam the link is below thank you so much for watching good luck